Hey, hello hackers. Welcome to Hacker Associate. Today, basically, we'll focus on how to perform a SQL injection attack on live application. And I'm going to show you exactly on live application how to detect the particular vulnerability quickly. And before I start, okay, like if you are new to the channel, please subscribe it. And if you didn't follow the page Hacker Associate, please go ahead and you can follow this particular community for regular updates and regular video. And stay tuned with me for uh, like next generation technology like car hacking, SCADA hacking, IoT, OT, and many other things. So let's get started okay, our topic like how to perform a SQL injection attack on live application. So for this, okay, like uh, I'll take one live application, okay, like randomly, okay, on um, basically so I'll search on internet and I take that uh, particular live application and I will basically hide that URL, okay, a bit for a security reason. But you can apply the same thing okay accordingly like to any application okay so let's get started first uh, let me show you like what tool we require so i can simply go to the google and i can uh, search here uh, sql finder so this is the great tool okay you can go okay and um, just on the google just search sql finder just click here and then okay you will be redirect okay to the particular website called sql finder after that okay you can simply git clone it and you can simply come to these repositories uh, like this and i'm going to open a terminal and you can see here i'll go to my opt directory this is my mac system i always hack okay using my mac system and you can simply go to the web pen test and here you can see ls and here in my case i have a framework called sql finder i can go to the cd sql finder and ls so <clears throat> this is very basic part okay simple git clone it and you can simple come here once you do that okay you can see uh, each and every steps given here if you didn't have okay like git please install git then git clone it go to the folder and you can simply run pip3 install minus r requirement.txt so in my case i have already done it in your case if you didn't configure this tool that's how you can configure the things okay when this part is done okay you can simply type okay example let's say python 3 sql finder minus h and you can see you're getting an error so try to resolve the error okay using pip3 install and whatever the name it is coming like hue py and enter so you can see clearly it is already installed but whenever you try to run this command you'll getting an error so what you can do is rather than typing this one you can simply type python sql finder and minus h so this tool written okay in python 2 so that reason okay like we are getting error but the same thing okay you can try in kali image maybe it worked because i didn't test it okay in kali i tested okay in my mac so in mac that's how you can troubleshoot okay and you can see this is basically the framework called sql finder.py and here we have a minus d for the domain and we have minus s okay for that subset false and true okay so these are basically the option okay like um, this particular tool going to provide to you so how to use this particular framework this amazing framework you just specify the website name which you want to test and automatically this framework okay will identify sql injection issues on the particular live applications so let's get started so i'll take a random uh, you know uh, domain okay but as i mentioned i'm going to hide this particular link so i'm going to test this url and let's go ahead and we can paste here so once i uh, paste this one okay so you can see clearly i have added this link at this particular domain and i'm not going to okay add anything i'm simply removing everything i just specify a domain and then you will see like automatically uh, this particular framework will identify issue on this particular domain see enter so you can see the tool is started and we selected the application okay for testing and in maybe a few minutes okay like you will get the result so let's wait for this and together we'll see the result accordingly so i'm waiting okay like, so i'll just okay like stop that particular video when it is done i'll come back to this particular section and here you go you can see it identify a lot of parameter okay like you can see clearly this is vulnerable so if i just open okay any of the parameter and if i just copy this particular link and if i just try to open okay in any of the browser just like this paste and go and you can clearly see that okay this is vulnerable to sql injection that's how you can quickly identify the vulnerability within seconds okay but depend upon your internet speed depend upon the complexity of application there are hundreds of tools out there but exactly I just want to show you okay in this particular video like how to detect sql injection issue on the live application quickly and also for more information if you need uh, like uh, uh, 
uh, advanced program on this. We have a program called uh, AWPT uh, called Black Hat Penetration Testing. Okay, like if you're interested, please check the model and then let us know. For more information, okay, please follow these particular channels and you will be uh, getting all the new updates, okay, at regular basis and weekly basis. Thank you. I hope you like the video. I hope you like our hard work and uh, if you like our hard work, please subscribe to the channel and like this particular video and see you in the next video. Thank you.